Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> Maybe you'd expect a different pace there or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> nah, anyway, so we got these nuts here that if you jump on, they, yeah, those are from Mario 3, I remember them. You can sort of screw them like that if you just keep jumping on them. Classic cannons return. And... Oh, wow, that's a lot of cannonballs, and I gotta get down there for the star coin. And, good. Go, 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 go. I hope no wind blows, because I can't climb ladders when those when wind is blowing. That's a big cannonball. <laughs> but they had those in Mario 3 as well as a surprise attack. Probably mostly for laughs more than anything. Oh, jeez. Because I always laughed when i seen those giant cannonballs. Uh, I wonder if there's... Didn't mean to do that. But is there anything? Oh, crappers. <laughs> well, I, I guess I am uh, starting this world in this part unexpectedly, so... Wait, unless... Oh, it's just another Navit stage dealio thing. So this is Soda Jungle Airship, the mighty cannon ship. Mm, I'll do it again. So I didn't I didn't know a jungle could be made out of soda unless it's gonna be the uh, water they're talking about. By the way, this is a auto scroll stage, as is I mean I mean in the classic Mario 3 airship style that is uh well air, airship stages they're pretty much all uh, in auto scroll style. By the way, we also got the airship music, which is always a treat. Well it's well it's the remix of the airship music, but yeah. Anyway, now that I know Got to get down here for the coin, and I also know that, that there isn't anything next to the cannons that are coming up here, so I know not to get squished. <laughs> and let's just get these, or at least attempt to get these, I suppose. Oh! Eh. Alright, I got it. Nice flower. I just worry if there's anything in this empty space here, because, yeah... Let's, oh, no, there, there couldn't be anything there, unless... Oh, they want me to jump on the cannon ball to get the coin, okay. I hope there's nothing down there. I'm just going to trust that the coins will be in my uh, general vicinity of vision or something, I suppose. Am I going inside the ship now? Oh, I am. I guess I'm swimming in soda now. Red torpedo, Teds. Are you any different? Oh my god, you are! You actually aim- you constantly aim for me, really? And you explode, wow. That- that could be a problem, although you only turn around to aim towards me at certain spots. Maybe it's at the edge of the screen? I should not lose my power here, because I need to get in here. Yeah. Oh, or I could just use those, I suppose. Apparently they explode the blocks. <laughs> they can go through walls. I guess, but the... Eh. Uh, I'm not gonna get that uh, ice flower. I think I'm gonna take more hits than it's worth. What are you? A wind-up fish? A wind-up cheap cheap? <laughs> You're just going in a straight line, though. Do I go down here? Probably. Oh, should I have waited to see what the right side was like? Bowser Jr. in a clown sub. I don't know how to defeat you, but I guess we're about to find out. I can't typically attack underwater. Oh, I bet I have to hit you with these torpedoes. I bet ya. I bet ya. Okay, go up here. It just seems like something Mario-ish. Come on. This should work. Oh! They, could, they collided. I'm just trying this because I, I highly doubt I can touch that the top of the ship. Because you can't typically kill enemies with, uh, just by jumping or, I mean, uh, touching them underwater above their head or something like that. Alright, just shoot one. Well, that works. Okay, I'll turn around. Oh, come on. Are you dodging these torpedoes or something? Like, purposefully dodging these torpedoes? <laughs> I, I, I feel that he's dodging these. Like, purposefully. And not... Not by luck. Or maybe not. Maybe it was luck that he was dodging them all this whole time. But yeah, it looks like what you're supposed to do. And oh, that could be a problem. 
Oh, and they even collide with each other to change your direction a little bit. It's similar to uh, bullet bills, actually. Alright, let's do it. And flip around. Go this way, please. Yeah, he was definitely getting lucky dodging them before. <laughs> Alright, how many this time? How many this time? Oh, and they're coming vertically. Mm, okay, that was pretty easy. Oh, and there's also these water currents that are in the way, but at the same time, they're really not. Because the water currents are pretty weak. Alright. One more, I'm guessing. It's usually three hits for these battles. Yep. And he's done for. <laughs> what? It's the big Bowser hand again. Ah, Mario dodged it. He will not get thrown far away again. Hmm. Is that all? Ah, uh, um. I guess so. <laughs> Was there a secret exit there? Or is this where the ice path would have landed up? Because I see, see those, um, see those trees in the background there? That looks like a path. See that over there? I'm gonna trust that I come from the ice level through there. So I'm just gonna move on here. Oh, and oh, here's our intro to the soda jungle. There's Boom Boom again, and this place looks incredibly spooky. Are we actually gonna go through those trees? Oh, no, wait, we're going around them. I, or maybe we will go through them. This world seems kind of huge. <laughs> Let's see our world map thing here. Let's see. Yeah, see the, the ice just above Mario there? Yeah, it looks like the split path did indeed lead to this jungle area. So I wonder if I should do the ice area first, but you know what? I'm here, so I'll do this until I reach the castle. Soda Jungle 1, the jungle of the giants. I mean, after all, this is a blind run. I didn't know that I was going to hit the airship in the last part and start, end up starting a level unexpectedly. So we are back in Giant World, I guess, from Mario 3. Can I just, like, jump on you? Yes, I can. Oh, you split, though. Then you split again. <laughs> Do I want to break these blocks from the looks of things? I don't think I want to. What if I hit you? Well, it's just you just react like a normal Koopa. Can you, like, burst through a bunch of blocks at once? Oh, you can with the smaller ones. That's an interesting dynamic. Um, I'm gonna... Oh, it's just a coin. <laughs> they probably want to keep those... They want to keep those there because of the, uh, the gap, I guess. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I wanted to pick it up. But I guess you can't pick up these shells unless I release the button. No, you can't pick them up. Hmm... Giant piranha plant? No, your home is not a secret, apparently. What's this? Is this just a exit for the shell? For, I mean, for a shell or something? Um, ah, giant, giant world! <laughs> Everything is so... Wait, what? Oh, I need another shell. Respawn, please, thank you. <laughs> oh, no! Didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna do... Even the big ones dance, I love that! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do that and follow it, because this path, you know, is just continued on. And it clears the way. Oh, Star Coin is here. Good thing I went down here. Anything in these? No? It just looks like the other one, I mean, the, this other small area is just for coins. But you know what? Maybe some more stuff will appear if I go through here. Because sometimes when you touch certain spots on the screen with your body, it'll... Oh, I see what they wanted me to do. I was supposed to start at the top and then kick the shell down that way in like a chain reaction of sorts. By the way, it's, it's really awkward to jump on the, um, I bet you could do a one-up trick by, right here, by the way. But it's really awkward to jump on a Goomba because that f really floaty jump that you've seen there, it happens automatically. Uh, anyway. Hmm. Bet you I need a shell for that. Respawn, guys. Okay. Yes, you can clear those out, okay. 
Yes, and there is a secret here. It just seemed like there was going to be because of the way the, uh... Um... Hmm. Because the way the pipe was covered. What is... Is there any point to this besides coins? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Unless one of these other paths are going to lead me to... Nothing? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, and that's the block that I just broke on the other side. Well, I mean the pipe that I just went down that had the block over it. Right. Can't go down there. Fire flower, can I kill you with fire? Well, I can. Takes three hits, though. And these Goombas are really, really slow. <laughs> See that? Get a little bit fat. Not, well, not much faster when they get smaller. Hmm. I just gotta check. Oh, oh! Good thing I checked the pipes. Always gotta check the pipes. Okay, star coin. And I gotta time myself with this, I'm sure. That was pretty easy. I wonder how I would have done that if I would have killed the Goombas first. I think I would have been screwed to get that star coin. Because I don't think I can jump high enough to get up there without that. Plus a wall kick. Okay. Nothing in there. Um, oh, I see. They're gonna want me to kick a shell this way, aren't they? Oh, I'm just gonna skim through all of them. That's gonna be cool. Or, it's gonna skim through most of them. <laughs> Anything? Star. Ooh, do I want that star for like a future star run of sorts? I don't know. I'm just gonna run through it. Woo! Oh, I could have kicked a the shell there as well. Hmm. I'm looking for, um... Oh! I was supposed to jump on top of the Koopas. Okay. Well, there's the last star coin. I guess I'll be back there in a second. <laughs> Woo! I shouldn't have broke those blocks. I should have taken the high route. As I said, down is death. I did not follow my own advice. Um... There we go. Let's go indeed. Oh, that was cool. By the way, all enemies can uh, be killed with fireballs with three hits, including piranha plants, so yeah. Alright, oh. You know what, I will take that hit, just to get on top. <sighs> Although... Um, you know what, actually being small would be more helpful here. Because I can do that. And then, although, they're gonna respawn, yeah. Uh, how do I get up there? That's... is there a hidden giant coin block somewhere? I could always use the acorn power, you know, to get up there. But otherwise, I don't see myself making that jump. Or I could probably do it with a tiny mushroom. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use my acorn powers and get that coin, I suppose. Unless they really intended me to, like, do a long, long running jump. On all those Koopas? But that seems wider than what you can do. I could be wrong though, anyway. I'll just take that just in case and I'll see you back at the spot. By the way, this is a really easy stage to get through. <laughs> eh, uh, well, that works, but that wasn't my intended move. Eh, oh, there we go. Star coin gets! And I think I'm gonna end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part.